Ba -ba -ba nope. Every time, dude. God. What's up, dude? Uh, welcome to Macro Hacks number two. We're gonna show you 10 specific bulking foods. They're gonna help you pump up that next level to get some serious gains. To make this interesting, if y'all like this video, and whoever can guess how many calories is in this bag or is closest to the amount, it'll be whoever does it first. If you get it dead on, will win a Rising Legends t-shirt. Let's make it happen. Let's dive into this. All right, number one are tacos. I know everyone's usually on the burrito train, but at home, tacos are awesome, especially if you get these kits. Uh, you're basically gonna get like a set amount of tortilla, hard soft, however you roll kind of thing. And you pack it with some ground beef, and as we said in the last video, it's a good source of healthy proteins and fats, and it's definitely more calorie dense than chicken. Past that, like you can just stuff it with whatever you want. Like I'll put in a lot of rice in mine, and I'll kind of just load it up, and I can easily pin back five. They taste great, it's great fuel, and it's a killer number one. 10 chips, it's 90 calories. So how much for the whole thing? 20 grams, and this whole thing is 100, so that means 500 calories for this one. Making number two, pal. Let him have it. So yeah, uh, number two is, if you guys want to avoid the chip train and don't want to have like literally 50 grams of fat from having a bunch of chips, crispy minis are awesome and we highly recommend it. This entire package is, I believe, 460 calories. Tastes great and the total fat intake is under 15, so can't go wrong with some of these bad boys. You're gonna munch it out. Oh, man, yeah. Munch it out with some rice cakes. What else? Number three, we got your oatmeal kind of type bars. These can stack up quick and they're pretty dense in calories. For instance, Cliff Bars are 240 calories, five fat, nine uh, protein, and 43 carbs. These are something you can bring on the go and they stack up real quick. If you just want to carb up nice and easy, pop three of these suckers, you're gonna get some nice, nice carbs in your system. And this kind of goes with any bar, especially when you're bulking on the go, you're not always in the kitchen. I hate that majority of these videos are like, oh, you can make this crap in your kitchen eight times a day, but I don't think the average person's home that much, especially me and Kyle going downtown a lot, like you always see us down here. Can you call it's always about the foods you can pack. So uh, a lot of people are saying, hey, I'm on a budget, I can't get big. You know, one word for you, oh. rice. We got uh, 18 kilograms of this for $37. If you, you have no excuses. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's huge. Like five times a day, rice is probably like my go-to staple when I'm bulking. Also consequently when I'm cutting, but you get the simpler rice and not the whole wheat one, I find you can pack in some more decals and uh, make those gains. All right guys, so macro hack number five for the bulk. I highly recommend trying pasta. Right here we have penne pasta as well as spaghetti. I truly believe when people are bulking they like to over compliment, over complicate things, sorry. I guarantee I could have at least a thousand calories in one sitting of pasta. Mix it with the beef like we mentioned last video, put a bit of sauce on and you're still feeling nice and could probably go for another round. So mix in some of this pasta and you will not regret it. Hey, look at that little grin for pasta. Man. I love it. <laughs> Is it pasta or pasta though? I say pasta. I say pasta. You say pasta? Number six, this is a massive hack that will make bulking 10 times easier. If you're having skim or 1% milk, just up that. 2% homo milk, something in that kind of area. Cream in the coffee, it's not the greatest thing, but these small things really help you pack on the calories if you are a really hard gainer, right? So you can gauge it to how many calories you need. If you're really hurting to get you're like 1,000 calories under every night, try the cream, try the homo milk, but if you just want an extra couple hundred, just up that 1% to 2%. Milk's an awesome thing that you can kind of just drink throughout the day to pack on some liquid cows. You can even put in your protein too. That's it, put in your protein, put in your shake, put in your cereal, look at that, triple threat, baby. protein. <laughs> You guys can smash that like button, it would mean a ton because it's so weird filming these in grocery stores, especially in like rush hour. <laughs> People are just give us the weirdest looks and we're trying not to be like, uh, I like eating food. <laughs> like, eat what are these mine. guys doing? Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> awkward, but we do it for y'all and we're trying to do it really well. We've been doing them over a lot. But real quick, egg whites are your friend when you're cutting. Only 30 calories, eight grams protein, zero fat. You're gonna wanna put these in your pancakes, eat them just for additional sources of protein. But an easy and quick switch, you go for the real deal, just full on friggin' sim. Oh, I had it backwards. <laughs> but uh, you get the point. You're gonna switch for the whole egg basically, and you're gonna get 80 calories per serving. 
with a total of eight protein and five fat. It's another great alternative just to make omelets in the morning, tons of cheese, tons of ham. It's really gonna be beneficial for your macros. Then you could supplement that with an additional source of oats for carbs. And you'll find that if you guys are following like these tools and tricks and actually spicing it up, it's really easy versus just eating, like I said, that rice and chicken. Yeah, you guys can go for a ton of these eggs. Eggs are awesome, man. Look at that. And they're cheap, bro. Right? Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Man, dude, I freaking love nuts. <laughs> You're filming? <laughs> Not like that. Roasted cashews as well as pistachios as well as almonds, man. These are an absolute... <laughs> These are essential, man. I guarantee you guys will not um, hate me for telling you this. 50 grams, which is one third, you guys can get over 300 calories. Bump it up to 100 grams and you're talking over 600 calories. You can bring them on the go, um, super quick to eat and yeah, the calories add up quick. Plus they're healthy for you, healthy fats, right? So give them a try. Mm -hmm. I kid you not, high school is having 5,000 calories a day and I ate 100 almonds every day for lunch with peanut butter and a protein shake every day. And I, I still like almonds, they haven't gone old on me. Then the next tip, I don't know, well not a tip so much, but why the heck are we filming in the baby aisle, Cal? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck, I was bro? just about to say, what about a baby formula? That oh, was in the background. Funny. Yo, film me, legit. So when we were uh, peaking for our physique comp, we actually, like one of the main sources of simple carbs we had to peak for our, power, our not powerlifting, physique comp was baby food. I kid you not, like that's a legit, if you're ever just looking for a quick source of carbs on the go, baby food is actually pretty solid. Baby food. food. Check out what I got, boys. Baby food. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tip number nine, if you guys know, is donuts. Now, saying so, like we've said numerous and numerous times, we follow the 80-20 rule. So we try to eat super clean, like on most days too, we'll have salads for lunch, we'll go, I'll have oatmeal, protein, like peanut butter, like a super healthy breakfast. And for dinner, I'll have some vegetables, rice, chicken. Then somewhere in the day, I'll have maybe a donut or two just for kind of some fun food. I'm sure, there's some sugar, there's some fat. It's not necessarily the healthiest option, but I find it's actually healthier to supplement your diet with some things that you're looking forward to. It doesn't always have to make you feel like garbage because if you're just eating clean and trying to bulk clean and funneling foods that make you want to puke and vomit, you're ultimately just gonna end up binging, right? That's something we always advocate, and that's something we feel you guys should know. That's why we follow it fits your macros, but as you guys can see, the donuts here are lit. We have so many good options, so it's way too hard to resist. Tip number 10, we're keeping it to you guys. We wanna see what you guys think, so I've actually, like a lot of these foods I've learned about are started eating for bulking purposes from buddies, other YouTubers and stuff like that. And we wanna see what you guys say in the comments down below so we can have a super comprehensive guide. And we got some time to bulk left. Wanna know what y'all are saying so we get some more tips, some more fun foods to pack on some of that muscle. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that like button. We're thinking of making a, like a kind of how to bulk on a budget video for a part three if this can get about 500 likes. Let's make it happen, guys. Thanks for chilling with us. Peace.